Today, President Joe Biden signed a $95 billion aid package. And the bill provides support for several allies, including Ukraine. 10 on your side's Kiana Patterson joins us with reaction from those who fought for the funding. Yes, yeah, Senator Mark Warner and Ukrainian supporters both say it should not have taken six months, but they are grateful that it has finally been approved. More help for Ukraine is on the way. Once the, the aid stopped in December, Russia became more emboldened by that and started attacking more. Anna McCorkina and the Tidewater Ukrainian Cultural Association traveled to D.C. to meet with lawmakers last week to ask for help fighting back against Russia's invasion. If Ukrainians don't fight for their independence to against the aggressor, they would be just exterminated. The money will help supply weapons for Ukraine's military. If we don't help Ukraine now with weapons, to, to repel the attacks and regain the territory, we would have to send boots on the ground to Europe, to the border. Senator Mark Warner telling 10 on your side. Finally, the United States stood by our values last night, stood by fellow democracies, stood by our allies. Warner believes the $60 billion aid will go a long way. About 90 cents on every dollar will actually be spent right here in America, where we produce some munitions that will go to our Ukrainian friends. Now the concern is if this is the last funding package until after the November election. We put in place enough assistance here that it'll get through the end of the year. McCorkina is still hopeful that there will be some NATO commitment to Ukraine. It will leave Ukraine more vulnerable when there is such uncertainty. And to learn more about the Tidewater Ukrainian Cultural Association and upcoming fundraisers, I'll post that for you over on wavy.com. Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.